this uh, session before the last comments by the organizers, which is very crucial after two days of very uh, hard work, I can say, because the speakers came from many countries, many, con uh, many con all the continents, and from different sensibilities and different political traditions within the international communist left in general, and of the anti-imperialist movement. It was a very tense work, and as it was said already yesterday by Comrade Sungur, the big question now, it is on the agenda, it is what will be next, what it will do following this emergency international anti-war conference. So, as the name of the conference itself says, it was, it is still, an emergency conference. The emergency character was uh, determined by the extraordinary conditions in which the working class all over the world, humanity lives after the explosion of this global war involving all the countries and which for the moment the epicenter is Ukraine. The NATO provoked NATO proxy, NATO proxy war against Russia and against the, for the colonization, as we said from the beginning, and fragmentation of the former Soviet space, and, lay, and then China. So we, we, it was, and still we consider it as a, a good step. And even the response coming from so many people from all over the world with a very uh, with a wealth of different views, contributions, etc. It is a, a first step, not the last one. So the first, uh, we have to continue in every political manner. We think that it is necessary to go forward and uh, continue the work by planning to have another international conference, depends also on the developments of the war itself, uh, approximately in a uh, few months, in the autumn of this year. But before that, as in is a necessary but not sufficient, of course, uh, condition to move to this direction, we propose uh, to issue from this event, today's event, a political declaration, summing up our main line that we want to fight for, all of us, I hope, in the next period, the main line is uh, it was uh, already presented from the beginning of this conference, considering the main culprit, the main protagonist, the main instigator of the war, global imperialism under the leadership of the United States imperialism and NATO. And to, that we fight not only to condemn this criminal action, offensive campaign leading humanity on the brink, at the brink of an abyss, of, a, of the nuclear Armageddon, particularly as the imperialists, they want to protect, to prolong this war. Today again, uh, if you saw the papers, Boris Johnson mentioned again that uh, probably it will take at least months, if not years. He repeated the same thing he said a week ago, I think, in, uh, in Sunday Times. So he repeated the same. They are, they want to prolong the war, and we have to we have to engage ourselves in a protracted struggle in every aspect. We think that it is a necessary, not sufficient, but a politically binding act to issue a declaration that will continue. Summing up the main line of the that was discussed, we have of course many different nuances even differences. It was a very wide spectrum of views 
which was presented uh, these two days from uh, the main line presented by the initial report to very opposite positions to, to either the position that the report fought against. I mean, a position uh, blaming so-called Russian imperialism for the war or another position from uh, the other side taking so-called neutral position condemning the two imperialists uh, claiming that this war is this an inter-imperialist of great powers rivalry. It was expressed. It is unavoidable. It is objectively in this objective political situation all over the world. We cannot either ignore that, we have to discuss and convince people for the correctness of our anti-imperialist and revolutionary line against the war in Ukraine. For this reason, already uh, what we pro practically is a procedure we most many of uh, the participants have already but we can until tonight everybody every participant will have by mail uh, the um, draft of this declaration which we, i mean it it, it will be the draft on which was based the main report, the initial report of the today's conference. This will be sent to everybody who participated in this conference. We, and we ask everybody for a couple of days, not more. I mean, we needed to hurry up and move forward beyond that point uh, to comments, suggestions, amendments, omissions, you know, or disagreements or agreements, etc. So to finalize this document to be published until the end of this week, maximum, okay. And then to continue, and this public declaration should be translated in all the languages used by the participants in this conference, from English to Farsi, if you can remember the last uh, it was the one last uh, um, uh, contribution. So, and in uh, all these languages, they will be translated and published, and circulated, published either by internet or in a blog or a website or in a printed way uh, to to, you know, to publicize the views of this conference, the declaration of principle of this conference. At the same time, all the contributions, the so different contributions, in a written form give, given to the organizers, to the steering committee of the Rakovsky Center of the Regnet, to collect all this material and publish it as a booklet, a book, of the proceedings of the conference, or a printed form, most of it, or in a book, etc. So the one is the declaration, the other it is the proceedings. I mean, in the form of a written document, some of them already are here. We have uh, documents from many uh, organizations and parties and movements in journals who participated and spoke to this today's conference. We ask the other comrades who want their contribution to be included in these proceedings to send us as soon as possible. their very short, uh, not many pages, okay? You cannot make a, a huge book, uh, a few pages, but uh, two, three pages maximum, but representing their point of view to be included in this book form. So first, the declaration. The basis we propose to be the main report will be sent to everybody. We wait for amendments and uh, suggestions, agreements, disagreements, etc. Uh, to publish it as soon as possible, but during this week and the end of this week. 
Then the second, it is all the written documents to collect all of these, to, to complete the collection, because already, as I said, we have some of them, to have a book of proceedings of this important, in our view, historical event, which is very, very different from all the propaganda gatherings, which has organized the last period all over the world in the name of the war in Ukraine. <coughs> so it will be a contribution for the debate in the international workers and then the imperialist movement. So then uh, we have, of course, uh, on uh, this basis uh, to plan and to discuss. There are propositions already uh, even um, arrived uh, few hours ago from different participants in this conference. For example, there is a, a very important, in my personal view, proposal by the comrades from uh, Sardegna Rosa, who suggest that uh, we have uh, to mobilize the working class, the trade unions, against the setting of arms the Azov Battalion Nazis, or etc. That, uh, for example, probably you know that in the harbor of Saloniki and Alexandropolis, northern Greece, there were already strikes, movement by the um, workers in the harbor, which uh, prevented them sending, or they, okay, they retarded, they put obstacles to the sending of NATO arming to Nazis, okay? This is a very good suggestion where it's possible to, and it's possible, both in Greece, for example, this, do it. And, but in other countries, Spain, for example, or France or uh, Germany, because uh, in the last uh, G7 meeting, I think it was today, they, they established, uh, Orient was in the NATO, some, they established two important centers for the arming for the NATO war. One, it is in Virginia, of course, in the United States. The other is in Ulma, in Germany. So the fight, okay, we will do, can do, and will do propaganda, no to sections, no to arms, to et cetera, et cetera, that we discussed. But this, we have to put this issue in the organized workers' movement as well. I think the proposal by the Sardinian Congress we received a few hours ago it is interesting and we supported at least uh, our party. Other proposals, of course, are welcome for us. But we have to move step by step to that direction if uh, you agree. So, in um, as a matter of fact, to, to hurry up, or to, to accelerate the whole process, also we propose that the main report could be uh, to vote uh, during, before the end of this uh, conference later. So this, if I did not forget something, I have to, I had to propose. Discussion is open. The meeting is moderated by Comrade Arya Mitina and myself. Who wants to speak, please? Yes. Yes, I want to. Ah, Comrade Abramson, yes. I think that all participa participants of our today extraordinary conference must, with great gratitude, note the organization in such short terms, such inspiring conference, 
this is very great contribution in really struggle for peace against world imperialism. Thank you, Comrade Yosef. Спасибо большое. The floor is open for the discussion, uh, both to the proposals that I made on, uh, on, the, on behalf of the organizers and others, any other. Uh, yes, please. I think it's it's better to raise hand uh, and speak. Okay, everyone who wants to take the floor to raise the hand which is in the yes. below. And okay, in the may I, may I go on for a very yes. short in, a very short introductory uh, as a result of my excitement, uh, impatience, and uh, actually anger. Um, yeah, twenty years ago, uh, it it would be a great uh, a great uh, mistake. Uh, to do nothing after such a conference, but today I think it will be a suicide. So yes, we we must uh, do many things, and uh, let let's move forward. I want to say, and I want to thank everybody who uh, have joined the conference. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, comrade, very much. Who else wants to speak? Who can raise the hand on the back? Cut to the Yuri has raised his hand. Ah, yeah, Yuri. I didn't uh, know. Yes. yes, I have some remarks. And uh, 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 in my opinion, uh, comrade Abdullah from Lebanon, uh, gave a good proposal to support political prisons. We know that uh, this problem is actual not only to Palestine, but also to Ukraine and Russia. As I mentioned, the uh, reaction uh, rise on both sides of uh, the front line. And uh, that is why now we know uh, that uh, there are uh, about uh, about uh, 25,000 political prisoners in Ukraine now, uh, only uh, during these four months. In Russia, situation is better, but we know that uh, there are also repressions against uh, working activists. For example, a well-known uh, case of uh, trade union leader Kirill Ukrainsev, uh, Ukrainsev uh, is uh, his surname, uh, and uh, he was arrested due to his directive. Then I think we need a special solution to support the uh, trade union leaders and other political prisoners. Okay. I'll ask the floor. Yes, you can. Yes, I. So there. I also think it was a very pleasant surprise, this kind of, of uh, conference. If we see the history of, uh, of uh, Rakowski Center as a Balkan uh, organization at the beginning, and when we, uh, we uh, look today, that it was from five continents, tens of speakers, and uh, and maybe hundreds of followers. I, I, I suppose it, it it shows not only the necessity of that, but also the agony which is in the people to participate. So it's uh, very good uh, the suggestion from. Uh, Comrade Savas, that we must have a, another one next autumn, and for this book to collect all this. But I think we need much more. Uh, we should 
make Rakovsky Kespov more a, an attractive pole for all militants and radical organizations who commit to, to, to think together for the rules or to focus for, for some platform uh, to agree on. Also, we must exchange information, more information. Uh, we must uh, uh, develop uh, more tight relations be between the organizations. Sent reports because it's it's another eye when looks at the situation in Ukraine, for example, uh, in Finland and another one in France or elsewhere. We need this kind of reports, of this kind of information. Uh, <clears throat> someone maybe Red Vet could co co coordinate this, or some committee would choose to do it. Uh, maybe we could arrange campaigns that is for the future. Uh, maybe local conferences organized by Rakovsky Center. Uh, the local organization must uh, have a responsibility to organize uh, this kind of meetings and campaigns and or, or rallies or demonstrations in the name of Rakovsky Center. Thank you. Thanks, Dmitry. Anybody else? Ah, okay, Abdala and uh, Shungur. Ask the floor. Abdala, the paper left. He is a guest. Uh, Abdala first. Yes, comrades, I agree with the comrade because I want to just suggest uh, something uh, the same. Like a small uh, secretariat which uh, organize the relation, the relation, uh, political relationship between all organization and uh, propose activity, uh, political activities in the same time. It will be good uh, for the future also. And second time, and second thing, I will tell the comrade who spoke uh, from Ukraine, I think. We, uh, our comrades, our section in Belgium from two years, he organized many activities for the prisoners in Ukraine and Ru uh, Russia. But I don't know if uh, this activity have, they know about it or not, but uh, from many years, we have begun to to make a solidarity with the pres political prisoners there. And thank you. Okay, Comrade Sungur. After Comrade Abdallah, it was Comrade Sungur. I'm, not, I'm muted, sorry. Uh, so let me start out by uh, reminding everyone that Abdallah's uh, proposal to campaign for political prisoners was also taken up by Kamal Badawi. So it's uh, two, uh, two different comrades who brought this on the agenda. This is important. And of course, as Yuri said, the same question is very important in Ukraine as well. Let's put that aside as, you know, one prospective uh, common activity that we can carry out. The second point I would like to make is, well, uh, this is just, you know, a, a reminder because, well, uh, sometimes, you know, this kind of thing appears, but then it's good to, uh, you know, put the, uh, put the, um, balance correctly uh, Hans Peter said that in none of our um, documents that is to say Rakowski uh, there was a call to, for the defeat of imperialism and the victory of you know the Russian armed forces uh, only today uh, in the um, in, on behalf of revolutionary Marxism or the Devrimji Marxism journal uh, the ending was, as you know, it said, raise the banner of the defeat of NATO. So we say this very clearly. 
it doesn't it perhaps um, appear in the same with the same formula or it's not formulated in the same manner in all texts but we are for the defeat of imperialism in this war um this is just you know by the way uh, when i as i've taken the floor now coming back to what is to be done uh, i agree with most comrades uh, abdallah and uh, savas and uh, Kutlu and others and dimitris etc uh, that we should move forward on the basis of this very successful conference this is imposed by the objective situation and this um, conference can be used as a fulcrum to raise our struggle against imperialism and war to a higher level. So, um, in the light of all that has been suggested up until this point, what can we do? There are so many things that can be discussed. Some of these perhaps should be discussed later. Uh, it may be too early to bring some on the agenda immediately. Uh, Comrade Yur, you maybe, can finish uh -huh. your yes. Maybe I'll speak without video. Uh, and uh, that's why I, uh, I I don't know when uh, my speech was uh, interrupted. And uh, that is why I uh, continue that uh, we need to support political prisoners and need special resolution for this reason. Uh, especially uh, as Abdullah mentioned, Palestinian political prisoners. Of course, uh, there are many political prisoners in Ukraine. I repeat now that uh, there are 25,000 people who were arrested during these four months of the war. And uh, there are also some prisoners in Russia. Uh, for example, trade union leader Kirill Ukrainsev. He, uh, he didn't took part, uh, take part in uh, uh, political actions. He was a left Marxist trade union leader, but due to his uh, activity, he was arrested on, uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on pretext that he, uh, that he made some administrative crimes. And uh, that is why, uh, that is why uh, in Russia, Spritz Company of Solidarity with uh, this activity. I think that uh, there are also some activists of uh, 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 this type in other countries because uh, every war, uh, war lead, uh, leads us to a growth of reaction. That's why, uh, in my opinion, we need special resolution uh, to support political prisoners, repressed workers, activists, and so on. Thank you, Comrade Yuri. Is, uh, now, Comrade Sungur, if you want to complete your... Yes, thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me go quickly into the uh, major uh, you know, proposals that I have. Now, um, yesterday, I remember Daniela uh, from Bulgaria uh, started her speech, The Unthinkable Has Happened. World War III is on the horizon. This is how she started, which is, of course, true. Um, although we drew attention to this threat, we have been drawing attention to this threat for some time. Now it is concretely on our horizon. And therefore, this should be um, as the uh, main objective of this conference, the um, aim that we wish to reach. I think in the end, our you know whole discussion here leads to a kind of um, invitation to action and that action i can i think can be carried through something like you know the name is not that important it can be changed of course something like a, an international committee to stop the threat of world war three this is where we should um, make an effort to reach. 
a kind of not end point, but a kind of instrument to stop to 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 fight against the war and the imperialism. Now, in order to go there, uh, it is not a good idea to start with uh, to start with you know, uh, let's say the um, enlargement of Rakowski. I think at this point we come from many different traditions. We come from uh, different political backgrounds um we we still may have different political orientations for the future and some of our discussion in the future may bring us closer together and some of these differences may be uh, co-opted under the um, roof the umbrella of one single movement to fight against imperialism and war so Rakowski has its, you know, history, its orientation and everything. What we should do, I think, you know, this is a, a kind of contribution to uh, Dimitris' um, proposal. What we should do, I think, is to establish immediately after we have made it made sure that many different organizations parties associations uh, theoretical journals and uh, independent fighters uh, subscribe to the main orientation of the um, report that Savas gave at the beginning we will then of course edit it and shorten it whatever but then if this is provided for then we should establish a committee of liaison or liaison committee which would keep us together until we reach for instance the committee that i have just proposed the committee to stop uh, the the threat of world war three so this would take this this uh, organizational form which is flexible which can easily bring together Rakowski with other political sensibilities uh, would be a channel uh, that would connect today's um, uh, tasks to the formation of the committee. In that sense, uh, I make two uh, additions. You know, the committee is the perspective that I offer which is, you know, we, we can discuss the name, as I said, and also uh, perhaps a different formulation could be made. You know, this is for the future, in my opinion. But the two additional uh, proposals that I add to Savas's two uh, major uh, proposals, that is to say the declaration and its uh, um, spread through translation into other languages and publication on websites, etc., and the uh, proceedings brought, being brought together as an ebook, I propose two two other proposals. May I make two other proposals? One, with respect to the uh, proceedings, the ebook may take some time. We should we we will have to decide on whether we publish this in only in English or you know whether, for instance, the Sardinia Rosso presentation made today could immediate you know, could be put there in Italian and some other uh, presentations in Farsi, etc. A multi a multilingual ebook or whatever or translation into English, which will take some time. Until we do that, I propose that RedMed publish the uh, contributions of everyone who agrees to have it published on RedMed. Now, let me put an aside here. Uh, we should be definitely, I mean, you know, this was, I think, Dimitris who said, you know, Rakowski was born as a Balkans, Balkan organization, but now we have, you know, uh, speakers from five continents and, you know, 25 countries and whatever, you know, this very broad kind of uh, out, outreach that we have. So RedMed, um, you know, we have been discussing this and our Russian comrades had already proposed this. Uh, can be changed into a new website called Red Planet. Of course, you know, for the moment, the administration would still lie with the uh, same old administration, but this would, you know, take, bring in the issues and the voices of people from 
very different parts of the world. So that's one is, is a proposal. That is to say, to start publishing the proceedings piece by piece on RedMed, which is going to be Red Planet probably in the very near future. Second proposal is to establish this liaison committee that will uh, organize us for the future. Thank you. Okay, comrade, uh, thank you, comrade Sungur. Comrade Hans Petter has a flow. Hi, thanks. Yes. Um, I um, just want to correct something, um, what uh, Sungur Saran said. Um, I don't think I said, I'm, I argued that the Christian Rakowski Center has not called for the defeat of imperialism. I, if, if I did say that by mistake, that wasn't what I meant. Um, <laughs> what I did say was that the Christian Rakowski Center is not calling, has not called to my knowledge and um, the publications I've seen, I might be wrong on this, but um, you can speak to that maybe for the military victory of, of Russia. Um, and I think that uh, that difference uh, speaks to um, the, the problem of, of going forward in a way because we the, the conference as this has been hinted at by Sabas um, <laughs> contains uh, different people of different political convictions with regards to whether what imperialism is and whether Russia is imperialist or not and so um, it's <laughs> it, it, it complicates the question of how to address the question. Obviously, um, the defeat uh, of imperialism is agreeable to to all participants um, in the abstract. But um, one example I mentioned towards the end of my presentation was um, whether we not only support worker strikes like they have occurred in Italy and Greece against NATO weapon shipments, um, but whether or not we also um, support strikes that, to my knowledge, have occurred in Belarus um, against uh, bringing Russian weapons to the front um, of the Russian forces. And I think I'm, I'm opposed to the Belarusian strikes because I think I'm for the Russian military victory um, without giving any political support to the Putin regime. Um, there is a there is an analogy of Trotsky's position uh, in the Chinese-Japanese war in 1937, where um, the Trotsky advised the Chinese communists to point their guns uh, in the same direction as the Kuomintang against Japanese imperialism, um, but propagandistically prepare for the defeat of the Kuomintang rule once the war, well, he was actually more <laughs> unclear about this, but um, um, the point in time um, to prepare the, the, the Chinese workers, or in our case, the Russian workers, for the overthrow of the Putin regime. Um, so that was, so that is um, the substance of what I'm, I'm trying to hint at. So I think, um, yes, we can all agree on, on the defeat of imperialism, but I think um, uh, we, we disagree on what that means specifically and therefore what practical action, actions should be taken. Um, so I'm, I'm open-minded to the outcome of the conference, but um, anyway, I, <laughs> I just wanted to correct uh, Sungo's uh, presentation of um, my point earlier, um, but also, yeah, I, I will remain open-minded as to, um, yeah, the outcome and, and any specific steps taken. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, comrade uh, Hans Peter. It, it was necessary this clarification that you made because it was not only Sungur, myself too, and other comrades here from the EC that we hear the presentation. Uh, with some, we were a bit astonished to hear that uh, we did not call for the defeat, uh, military defeat of uh, NATO in this war. I just for to remind everybody on the same day that on you know, February 24 of 2022, the issued a declaration the same day, 
and uh, which made the, our position very clear. And even we use the, for those who blame the, the so-called unprovoked invasion, etc., etc., that uh, it is uh, the example well known that uh, you can, for those who completely ridiculously they accuse Iraq for the Gulf War because of the entry in the Kuwait in the first Gulf War. Anyway, it, uh, it is good that they made this clarification, not only our party and sister parties, but the Rakowski Center itself in all its public statements on the war, he took a very clear position for the defeat and the dissolution. And the main report as well that we did in the beginning of this conference. Okay, then we do not abuse of my position as moderator. Who wants to, uh, Abdallah, you want to speak again or you left? Yes, it? yes, yes, for uh, one minute. Okay, okay, Abdallah. You have that. Uh, Okay, I have uh, an idea. Why uh, uh, we don't make an international call, uh, at least for the comrades who live in Europe, to make a demonstration against the headquarters of NATO in Brussels in one month or two months? It will be a good idea for uh, whom who live in uh, Europe. Okay. And for Yuri, Comrade Yuri, I, it will be better if he has some document to send it to me about uh, the situation of the political uh, uh, communist uh, prisoners in Ukraine and Russia. And I will uh, translate it to Arabic and, uh, and everyone uh, will know what's happening there. If even the document will be in Russian or Ukrainian language. We have many comrades who study there and they know how to translate from Russian or Ukrainian to Arabic. Thank you. Thank you, Abdullah. Who else wants to take the floor? We have another 15 minutes, or a bit more, maybe. Just until the moment that everybody decides again to abuse my <laughs> position as moderator, just a few comments of the proposals already done here. I am a, I fully agree, of course, to that the, this conference already has a resolution in defense for the immediate liberation of freedom fighters in the prisons of uh, Israel, for example. And, uh, in, and, uh, and, in, and for the liberation of the 25,000 political prisoners under the Kiev uh, liberal or Nazi regime. Uh, but I have just a point of clarification which is needed. I know, I mean, even uh, Zuganov of the KPRF said that, that uh, even from in his initial statement, after the the after February 24, that uh, he, his party supports the special military operation. At the same time, he said that uh, there were in, uh, uh, repression against communists, even of his own party of the KPRF. And uh, in our document, uh, in our statements, we said that we are for against any anti-communist repression. But we have to make a distinction. I understand that in uh, Ukraine, the political prisoners, the majority at least of them, belong to all these left organizations and parties that from 2015 were pushed out, uh, were outlawed by the Kiev regime. On the contrary, Personally, I have not much sympathy for Novalny, for example, in Russia. It, of course, it preceded the war, this thing. I am against, if you mention that, we are, have to be clear, we are against the repression, uh, which uh, makes obstacles to the working class movement, etc. 
but it will have to be very, you, you, everybody knows how the Navalny affair was used by the international imperialist propaganda and uh, make it very suspicious of these things to many people who are not at law Putinist in this sense. So we have to be a bit careful. Okay, it can be, um, in my view, we can have a resolution very easily for the liber immediate liberation of the Palestinian prisoners, for the immediate liberation of comrade George Ibrahim Abdallah, we are uh, for the mediation, immediate liberation of all freedom fighters and of all four fighters for the working class rights and demands and interests. If you put it in this way, do not allow a liberal or imperialist interpretation. I'm a bit uh, an old communist in this sense. <laughs> okay. But uh, we have to be more concise and clear. I understand that the, that the intentions were very good to do that. But we have no, uh, we have to make a case by case uh, analysis what happens uh, if we go from this broad declaration for the immediate uh, free uh, liberation of Palestinians, etc., etc. To, and including, I think, the 25,000 political prisoners in Ukraine. I am for the liberation of all the communist prisoners who are repressed in Russia. But uh, for these liberals, for some liberals who are uh, a bit uh, working in the same sense than the imperialism, I'm not very sympathetic. Be polite, put it in mind. So, uh, anybody who wants another before I can make, uh, I can share with you some uh, thoughts about the proposals already done. I did already on the question of political prisoners. I have some to say for other proposals, but not abuse again my position as moderator. Anybody who wants before I say a few things. Saos. Yes, yes. Uh, uh -huh. yes uh, have... Camarade. Uh, uh, suis... Daria, Daria. Oui, oui. oui. Un, un moment, simultané. Un moment. Sefa, tu peux le dire, monsieur? Je ne sais pas, monsieur. Tergumé. Yes, correct. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, Daria. Uh -huh. Uh, camarade, uh, je suis d'accord avec Savas à 100%. Et en général, en général, je soutiens l'idée de résolution de solidarité avec les prisonniers politiques dans les pays différents. Mais généralement, dans chaque pays, uh, les prisonniers politiques ont uh, l'orientation idéologique différente. Et par exemple, comme Savas a dit, euh, en Ukraine, ils sont maintenant des centaines et des milliers. Et si euh, nous nommons quelqu'un par nom, si nous sélectionnons quelqu'un par nom, euh, il me semble qu'il est nécessaire de nommer les dirigeants du Parti communiste et du Komsomol ukrainien, Alexander et Mikhail Kananovich. Euh, ils, euh, ils étaient arrêtés, arrêtés par le euh, régime de Kiev en mars, euh, le, 3, le 3 ou 4 mars, euh, et euh, ils sont en prison. Euh, ils ont été torturés. Et je pense que euh, si, si, euh, nous adoptons les nommés. Merci. Dasha, on peut pas t'attendre. 
Il n'y a pas de son. Oui, quand on, quand on gère, oui. Tu peux répéter Non On n'écoutait pas à un moment, c'était interrompu. Ta voix et alors l'interprétation aussi. La dernière partie de ta contribution. Ah Dasha, Dasha oui. un, mo un moment, un moment, s'il vous plaît. Sefa, tu veux un tekra tajme et quoi Yes, yes comrade. Thank you. Ok. Ah, j'ai dit, dit de Alexandre Mikhail Kononovitch qui a été arrêté euh, le 3 ou 4 mars à Kiev. Ils sont les leaders du Parti communiste de l'Ukraine, du Komsomol de l'Ukraine. Ils sont en prison. Euh, sans médecin, sans avocat, et, et ils, ils ont été torturés. Et je pense que euh, si nous adoptons cette résolution, nous pouvons et nous devons les, euh, les nommer. Moi, je suis d'accord. I, uh, I agree. Ok. Okay, then anybody else who wants to speak? Uh, until at this moment, I mean, uh, uh, to summarize on this precise question, to issue a special political resolution from this conference for the immediate liberation of freedom fighters like the Palestinian prisoners, etc., George Ibrahim Abdullah, as well as for the political prisoners by the anti-communist repression which takes place during this war and to name not only the 25,000 political prisoners in, uh, in uh, Kiev, I agree with the Daria to name the name of uh, this comrade of the leader of the Communist Party and Komsomol of Ukraine who was savagely tortured in prison and has no legal defense at all. It is well known to everybody, I mean, apart from the Communist Party in the Europe. So, this is on this point. Anybody who wants to, be, to go beyond this question that I think we clarified on the political resolution in relation to the political prisoners. But it can be written uh, a short statement in English you know, to finalize what we discussed until this moment and send it immediately and to the organizers of the conference, then we distribute everybody and uh, publish it. I think everybody agrees on the spirit uh, that we we'll discuss now. With the addition that uh, Daria said of the name of uh, this comrade in Kiev. So was just to, just to clarify, we're now talking simply of this solidarity with prisoners text, right? You're yes. not summarizing everything yet. No. No, 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 no. Because they have some comments justice. with other comrades. Justice. Yeah. Okay, justice. And probably other comrades. Uh, yeah. On the, uh, we no, I said we have to conclude to move to the other proposals. On we are we agree to have a political resolution of this conference on the lines already discussed for the immediate liberation of Palestinian prisoners, Joseph Rahim Abdallah, and the, the, the left-wing and communist under repression during the war, particularly the 25,000 political prisoners in Ukraine, and the, the name that please Dasha Amwanu Lenung of the comrade in Kiev, okay, who is in prison the leader of Komsomol. So we have to write it down and, to, uh, and if everybody is, uh, accept that, is agrees, we can publish it from tomorrow. There is any objection? I say somebody has to do it. <laughs> That's, uh, who will write it? This, the fifth international. Yeah, this we will discuss later. <laughs> but uh, now let's uh, about the, to finish the political prisoners. I don't know, Daria, you want to to make it to the to our Said in English and send it um, a couple of hours that everybody has it. 
Putin also the name of the leader of the Communist Party and the Komsomol. Александр Кананович и Михаил Кананович. Сейчас я Жекри, 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 No, I was just going to say, you know, before you proposed, I put my hand up and I was just going to say that Yuri is both sensitive and knowledgeable about this. He could write it in English, I was going to say. But then you made a proposal which was accepted, I suppose, by Daria. I hope she understood. And so this is okay. I mean, it's, the, the problem has been solved. No problem. Okay. Next speaker. So, uh, just to clarify, uh, there is no disagreement, but there is a need to be clear. As everybody is a bit tired of two days, a very tense and intense work here. Uh, first, it is to publish again a public declaration of the Emergency International Anti-War Co Conference of the Christian Rakovsky Center and Red Medal. The axis of that will be the main report given yesterday. Many of the participants have it already, but everybody has heard. Uh, but uh, we can send to everybody and after the end of this conference uh, to have the, the text itself. The text will be, as uh, Comrade Zungur also explained, a bit shortened, edited, just a bit in uh, Gringlish. But, uh, okay, and, uh, to, and uh, in, uh, uh, after we receive from everybody uh, comments, agreements, disagreements, amendments, etc. For the next two days, huh? because until the end of the week we have to publish it. This is a one proposal. The second one, it is uh, an international conference, which has to be probably in autumn. It will depend, of course, from the development developments in the war itself. For the moment, the imperialists try to prolong it for months or years, for the reasons that we have discussed. But I think to have a proper Congress, conference as you think about it, after this emergency conference, the summer months are very good, not the best period in the Northern Hemisphere, at least, to prepare it. If it is needed, we did it. It's just in one month to organize this emergency conference. So we can do it if it's needed. But we want to do something bigger in the sense not of attendance, because already we have a not bad attendance at all in this conference. It was a success superseding what we hoped in the beginning, in this sense. But um, we need to have uh, to prepare things. One particular point for preparation, as it was said before, it was to elaborate an international anti-war manifesto, which will go together with the call for this conference. But already the next, uh, say, month, etc., both the steering committee and the members of the Rakowski Center and the Red Bull, the Red Bull, the Red Bull can we can uh, collaborate to start to develop this uh, manifesto and at the end of the summer issue a special call when it will be more clear the date because I know there are other events also taking place during the same period I think last at the end of September for example there is in the conference in the Don Plejarova no in the, so the, that the people, the comrades, will participate. We don't want to collide 
being complex with that. And, and also and then probably we'll have early elections in Greece. That's another story, but don't <laughs> it's uh, that uh, it will depend. The, the crisis is accelerating every country, including our country. Uh, and uh, we were very busy at least as in that period. And uh, I, to be more clear, it is to go with this declaration, this, we start to work on a manifesto, which will be the main uh, document, which will be further discussed and finalized in an international anti-war conference called by the Rakowski Center at Med in autumn, either in October or in November, not to coincide again with the October Revolution celebration okay. uh, But uh, this is uh, the thing. So in this conference, the later, in the later stage, if the conditions are matured, we can discuss and decide possibly the formation of an international committee against the third war. I don't believe that today you can do that. We have to work to this direction. But uh, it will be like uh, self-proclamation, I mean, uh, <laughs> call that. I mean, we have to work on that, to go in this process. If we achieve to do this in the next international conference, if we decide to have it, then it will be fine. But today it will be too premature to call it these things. Of course, the other proposal it is to find the ways to let work in ourselves. A liaison committee, yes or not. But I think for the this period it will be very good if um, through the organizers, through the stream committee. The Christian Rakowski is the Christian Rakowski. All those who participated here are, again, I repeat, from different traditions, different, uh, including the members of the Rakowski Center, <laughs> with different orientations and uh, traditions. But um, even if we take, we have it, I think, from 25 countries or more, and uh, for all the continents, I don't know how many comrades, uh, about 47, uh, who took the floor, etc. And we have a very a wide spectrum of um, opinions and differences and nuances. We have to discuss further this. One way, for example, it will be to have a in a, a blog or a, a bulletin to discuss or a discussion bulletin among all the participants. In, uh, to, but this also, I think, it has to be connected to have an access. And the access, it is the preparation of a next, the next step, the next conference. Finishing that, I go to the, the other proposal was done. I think by Comrade Abdallah. I fully agree. Though. I mean, already next uh, Wednesday, there will be a number of demonstrations in European capitals against NATO, which has its summit the 29th and 30th. Most of these demonstrations are a middle of the road, to put it <laughs> mildly. In the sense that it is not the same as the, for example, some uh, demonstrations in the beginning of the war in March in Germany, which was, a, in my view, not a peace demonstration, but a pro-war, a pro-NATO war demonstrations. <coughs> and uh, but uh, blaming only uh, blaming unilaterally. Uh, Russia and demonizing Putin, etc., etc. Things have changed. Having been myself, for other reasons, political, I don't know, 
in Western Europe, in France particularly, in March, in the beginning, the first month of the war. And now, in the, the end of May, I was there, and early June, the atmosphere already has changed. I mean, it is not... So, probably, some of the people who go to these demonstrations, they started from this false, in my view, equidistant position, but the NATO, but Russia, etc. But even if they use this form now, some of them, and I know from the experience in Greece, they move steps by step to another direction. They see more and more the brutality and the barbarism and the stubborn position of NATO or Britain or the US to continue the war until the last Ukrainian or Russian. So the most political atmosphere in Europe changed day by day. And with the, the rapid deepening of the crisis, of the cost of living, we have a new wave of strikes. I mean, in Britain, the rail workers strikes and, not, and other strikes. We have a new situation in Europe that we have to see how we do involve the next couple of months, say, and intervene point by point that. And uh, to and to have the target this conference, he, I we am I am personally absolutely in favor for a demonstration in Brussels, for example, in the NATO headquarters, or uh, everywhere where they are, or to the local in every country, and uh, and you can coordinate such actions, and if we can uh, discuss. Uh, from now on until the international conference, probably an occasion, an opportunity, a date where we can have a demonstrations against NATO in front of NATO headquarters in every country, the same date, the same hour, and publicizing that everywhere. Stop the massacre. You are the butchers in this war. And uh, and this more and more will uh, go forward. I saw they have we have a me. Let's say. Yes, uh, there is a meet um, uh, uh, in the chat a message by Comrade Osvaldo about the thousands of people who uh, go in the streets of Madrid. Which is true. But as I read uh, today in a left wing paper in Greece, an interview by a Communist Party of Spain, I don't know, it is one of the split of the Communist Party of Spain. The main slogan it is uh, down with Putin, down with imperialism. Okay. It's not our view to put it in this way. Let's see. So, who wants? Ah, Tatiana, yes, you raised the hand. Tatiana, you have the floor. Just a few words. I don't think it, it will be it would be wise if we forward the slogan "Put an end to a war," just because we are to define wars. Uh, whenever we organize demonstrations, pickets, and uh, conferences on the war in general, we would we would. <clears throat> mix up the NATO forces and, for example, Syria and also the forces in Russia, which now liberate. I use uh, the verb purposely. Liberate at least out uh, the territory of Ukraine from fascism. It's fascism. Uh, I think it would be wiser, probably, if we organize uh, demonstrations or at least call for defeating the 
was unleashed by the, by the NATO countries because uh, it's the NATO and the United States who are the culprits on all local wars all over the world. And uh, to probably specify the idea which was put forward by Sungur. Uh, before we uh, before we propose uh, to stop or to prevent uh, uh, the uh, imperialist war, or we um, claim that um, that imperialist wars uh, war should be uh, should be defeated. Probably it is also um, a bit early to um, formulate general slogans. Again, we have we have um, a NATO organization who is uh, strengthening activities and gathering its vessels all over the world to um, transform it in the way they see it convenient for themselves. Uh, that's why um, I think it would be probably it would be not bad if we organize a kind of district of a list, a sending list, or a list of participants of uh, people from different countries to um, exchange information and documents on the situation regarding to the war, to the war, and um, the situation in Europe which is also worsening day by day just because of these maddening maddening actions of the European Parliament. We are to, uh, uh, to focus the attention of the citizens of our countries to their, um, I would even say, not policy, but quality, which includes different, um, different trends in their activities. Well, that's my idea. Well, that's my proposal. Thank you, Tatiana. Anybody else? We have another five minutes. Anybody wants to, to raise a hand? Sungur. Well, if you say we have five minutes, uh, perhaps we should, you know, make clear what we have agreed on. And, you know, I would like to come back to the proposals, uh, leaving aside the Brussels uh, proposal by um, Abdullah and the uh, prisoners question that was discussed clearly at the very end. Uh, in order to take our struggle forward on this platform, uh, I think uh, what was generally agreed, seemed that people agreed to, uh, were the following. One, the declaration. Uh, and I'm not going to, into details about any of these. Two, um, the uh, publication of the proceedings, perhaps in Red Med or Red Planet, and also as an e-book. And third, there was the um, proposal of a liaison committee, uh, which would also help us move towards any inter in interim um, objectives that we have, such as the conference you mentioned in the fall, the manifesto, and finally going towards this international committee. I, I did not understand exactly why you said self-proclamation, etc., because I suggested this, saying very expressly that this was not the moment to form it, that we had to work towards it, that it was the end point. So, you know, I, I, I hope I was not misunderstood. This is exactly what I said, the same thing. So, I, I, I see that there are three points, major points, that we have to, you know, we could... Uh, move on uh, immediately. Then uh, Mikhail Konashov has, has certain uh, proposals which we can uh, also discuss later. 
Comrade Oswaldo has asked uh, to speak. I want to say uh, my proposal, our proposal, regarding the looking at the draft of the declaration of this meeting, our proposal is right in the, in the chat. You see this in the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have got a proposal to the the shadow. I think the record is out can be integrate the proposal. I think we can take confidence to this process to so, that's what the declaration proposals are organizational proposals. We have a lean committee, etc. etc. And the next conference is for the declaration. We can make confidence to the government of the Red Med and the Rakowski Center to evaluate the different proposals into the I had some problems to hear what uh, Jessica Jua did. Okay, we have taken notice. Je dis the... que les différents les différents propositions qui ont été faites ici peuvent être mm -hmm. intégrées dans les dans la déclaration principale par les mm -hmm. camarades du centre Christian Rakowski. Il y a, il y a eu Des, 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 propos, des propositions faites euh, verbalement, il y a eu des propositions faites euh, par écrit. Je peux que les camarades du centre, Christian Rakowski, se trouvent autorisés à intégrer ces propositions dans la déclaration principale. Des oui, oui. propositions ont été des, des propositions à caractère organisationnel, et faire un comité de liaison et au. Et, 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 proposer un site d'échange de, d'informations et convoquer une nouvelle conférence, bon, c'est ça les propositions qui devraient être votées ici. Peut-être tout de suite après la pause, les cinq minutes proposées par ce okay. groupe. Anybody else? Osvaldo, you are talking, you raise the hand. Anybody else wants to speak? Yes. I don't know how to eliminate the petite man who is here. Eliminate the petite man who is here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Anybody else before I... Want to say something? Anybody wants to take the floor? Thank you. Tatiana, you want to speak or no? No, no, thank you. Thank you, okay. So, to summarize again, we agree to have a public declaration. One on the basis of the main report that we did initially yesterday, it will be shortened, edited, and published until the end of this week. All amendments, changes, etc., proposals, have to be sent to the organizers, which mean the Christian Rakowski Center, okay, who are the organizers of this conference, and uh, to prepare the final text to be published. It is clear for that or we agree on that? There's an objection, abstentions? Okay, we wait to send to the organizers this, uh, your agreement, disagreement, amendments, etc., to finalize the declaration. And uh, then, 
without uh, make a Byzantine discussion on the liaison committee, I, in my view, we have still a lot to do to centralize the work of the Rakowski Center itself before expanding committees and subcommittees. And uh, we have definite targets, aims, political goals immediately to do. The excess is the war against the NATO provoked imperialist war. Okay. And uh, for this reason, I think we did not finish today. And uh, we, will, we have to work for a manifesto after the publication of uh, this uh, declaration. And the manifesto at the end of summer will go together with a call for when a bit the horizon will be more clear, when it will held the next international conference of the Rakowski Center on the Red Med to, to for the, against the war. It's clear that, or we have again to discuss or clarify more this issue. So are you saying that a liaison committee is not the order of the day? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I didn't understand what you were saying, so yes, I, I need to ask. Yes. And I think the question of the international committee, I think you clarify in the, your last intervention, it is not to do with it today, but now. Not the international committee, which is a different thing, the which is a public thing. The liaison committee is an internal self-organization thing. Yes, but two the different things. With the Narakovsky Center, no? No, with, within this general environment. Of course, starting, uh, my, my proposal is that it's, you know, has as its core the steering board of the Rakowski Center plus some uh, comrades who uh, have joined us at this conference. Yes, the, is that okay? Yeah. At the moment, can send, and we urge them to send proposals, ideas, etc., to the steering committee of the Christian Rakowski. Okay? Yeah. I mean, not only the members of the Christian Rakowski Center, but all the comrades from different uh, orientations or um, points of the horizon. You could join us today and probably tomorrow as well, or uh, the day after tomorrow. They would urge them to bring their ideas, their proposals, etc., to the steering committee of the Christian Rakowski, which was already formed in preparation for this conference, no? Yes, sure. Not to have an own committee. No. Well, well, but, so, uh, well, I'm sorry. To, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we have to stabilize the Christian Rakowski Center. Okay, we'll discuss uh, this later. Shall we, shall we accept the ni next international conference? I'm not against that. No. So okay. we'll leave it at that. Is that okay, Savas? Okay, and then on the international conference later in the fall, it, we agree on that. It depends, of course, I, I, the, the proviso it is if you, we have something extraordinary. The, the war is always unexpected, okay? So we can change. But having an orientation that we can change if it is needed, it yeah. is not a dog. We, we, we orientate ourselves from this conference towards an, which was an emergency conference, and the name has a definition given to the, this action that we had this weekend. We go to towards an international conference later this year, and we will need it, the call for this conference to have also a political platform to propose as the situation will be evolved until the moment. So we have to work the next months in the steering committee and any ideas from people outside are welcome to be un put under our consideration to prepare a draft manifesto which will be finalized in this international conference later, that's all. I don't know if it is not clear or not. Okay. Okay, anybody?
Sorry, because I saw him. Okay. No, the comrade from Ogre, Spartacus. Not the other. Leaves and he sent the greetings to everybody. <laughs> Anybody? Okay, we finish with that. There is any objection? Any abstention? Okay. Savas, uh, the, Savas, we're yeah. not agreed on how that conference will be organized. Let's discuss that later within the steering board of Rakowski. Okay? Okay, I don't. I did not put it as an ultimatum. Huh? No, no, no. The, the way, you know, if if you're putting it to vote, I have to say this: that you know, I'm not yet convinced. So, let's put it, you know, as and we are aiming for an international conference on the basis of which, which will ratify a manifesto that has been prepared. This is fine. This is good. Okay. Please write it down because <laughs> you have to... Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Be fixed on that. So there is one question. I, I, I have something else now to decide tonight. Or, uh, there is a question if there is a, a general acceptance or rejection. <laughs> Of the mayor report, no? I don't know if it is necessary to put it in the vote. There are twelve people who are uh, absent. Yeah, true, true. There are thirty-five. You know, it was uh, in the maximum were more than fifty. Okay. Yeah. So. We leave it to that. The main report will be sent to everybody. Do not repeat for seven times the same thing. Any suggestions, objections, uh, amendments, a couple of days that follow to be sent to the organizers, the steering committee of the Christian Rakowski, to make a shorter edited version of the main report amended, etc. Uh, after the discussion of the steering committee and published as soon as possible. My, the, my proposal was until the end of the, this, uh, the week. Okay. Otherwise, okay, if uh, it is too late, you can have a communique, another thing of this conference, okay? A public communique saying that people from 25 countries from these continents from uh, the, the you have already it is already published in the red med the organizations and numbers etc that you can use it for the communique as well but in a short way and uh, to summarize and to have a communique published uh, etc Ah, I forgot before, I have no objection that uh, I thought I said it, but um, that um, the, the written material of this emergency conference can, of course, be published in Red Mail. And, uh, but as well, for Furia Major, I mean, uh, more and more. And uh, then to, it is very good to have as a document, because without uh, any hyper or arrogance, I believe it is. Uh, it was a historical event. I had the chance to follow by the web what happens all over the world. 90% is pro NATO, 10% is uh, rubbish. Okay. That's uh, so we, uh, you can compare it. Okay, despite all the differences. Probably it, is, it exists objectively. You cannot bypass, ignore that there is a generalized confusion, particularly in the metropolitan capitalist countries, less in the global south. There is another kind of confusion. Our task is to, to fight this confusion for political clarification. This is the role now of the declaration and tomorrow of the manifesto. And all the political work that collectively we have to do the next video. Okay, we have uh, can move to that.
Any disagreement? Anybody who don't agree? I have always problems with that. <laughs> ah, Shungur, you raise your hand again? Yes. I cannot hear you. Sorry, uh, this was for something else. When you finish, you know, this discussion, this is totally aside. This is finished, I think, is it? Yeah? Okay, I just wanted to mention that some people might have seen him. We have, hey, is he gone? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, we actually had on our program a speaker from Cyprus also. Um, this is good to know that, you know, there's participation from Cyprus as well. But he had problems in connecting our comrade Aziz Shah, uh, who you can see there in one of the uh, squares, the camera uh, views uh, that we have. Um, he was going to talk on the last panel, but he was not able to. So I just wanted, because 35 people are still here, I just wanted to... Uh, inform people that there was this participation as well. We greet. Yes, we, uh, because Comrade Ernesto, who was the moderator, he yes, showed the link. You yes. did not see. Yes, present. yes, yes. yes. He came yes. after the program was finished, unfortunately. Yes, I mean, he was able to. And you had no opportunity to come yes. to put another yes. session. Yes. So we are now in the closing session. If you the last remarks by the organizers, and do we have to say the international afterwards? So, yes. the moderator of the first day has the floor. <laughs> and the one of the main organizers of this event, Comrade Sungur. Well, not me, no. <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to say. We have agreed on so many things. This is fine. This. Well, let me say a few words. If, if if you called on me, is that right? Did I hear correctly? Yeah, yeah, okay, yes. okay. <laughs> we have certain sayings about people, you know, who are not called on but start to speak. So I, I didn't want to be in that position. That's all. Uh, look, comrades, I think um, what uh, comrade Savas was saying a moment ago about the objective nature of the exceptional character of the position that most organizations defended here is indisputable. The world is full of left-wing people and organizations and parties and whatnot who take either a neutral stand or equidistant stand. They can't even, you know, they can't even define their stance because there is no such thing um, between the two sides or pacifists. There are some people, you know, the, the, differ the differentiation, I think, between several groups is, you know, different groups, different shades, is this. Some people who never mention NATO, some people who simply pay lipstick to criticizing NATO. But that's always, you know, in the, in the second, uh, it takes the back burner, as they say in American English, it's always in the uh, back uh, stage. So um, the situation is very obvious. Uh, I think we can proudly say that at the uh, Rakowski Center, uh, as a general opinion, as a majority opinion, we have this orientation towards um, defeating NATO and imperialism in this cycle of wars that has started as our fundamental goal and this distinguishes us from many across the world we are not the only ones no that's how we were able to bring you know this conference with many other people in the uh, thinking in the same direction whatever the nuances may be uh, together so uh, we're not saying we're the only ones we are very clear on this, and it's good, I think, that we took this initiative to come together with people with whom we are at least on the same um, vibration, let's put it, without, you know, picking on the nuances for the moment. Uh, 
Now, this is very important, I think, because from here, and I think the organizational aspect of the thing was, you know, whether this was, uh, you know, already uh, time to uh, move forward uh, organizationally as well, or whether it should be done later. Uh, we are here now in a situation today or tomorrow to, in a certain sense, enlarge the movement and turn it into a real uh, voice in the, on the international left. Um, Rakowski has its impact on several continents, but now we can make it into a, you know, an impact that has uh, its repercussions in all the continents and in many countries. We have many countries here which do not fit into the uh, uh, regular or you know usual fold of organizations that come together, and so uh, this is of course very promising. Uh, therefore, I think we have had a big success, and I would like to thank everyone who uh, took the trouble of uh, joining this meeting, being here for the last two days. You know, as I said yesterday, this is a very tiring, in fact, exhausting process. It's not like being in a hall together. It's much worse. Uh, so many people kept uh, uh, participating in discussions all the time for preparing their presentations and, you know, putting this uh, the, their ideas forth so that we can bring them together and uh, join our hands together in, in the struggle against imperialism. And this was, in that sense, good on both sides. Thank you, uh, everyone who contributed to this. Um, if I may, I would like also to thank uh, the technical team, who did a great job, I think. Um, you know, sometimes people who are very um decisive in the unfolding on of, on, of an event are always in the background and we don't even see them some of them we see perhaps on the screens but some we have never seen in particular sefa was you know uh, always with us here and he's he's a great uh, uh, digital wizard so uh, i would like to thank the whole team for this thing both the air comrades and the Dick comrades contributed a lot thank you all thank you Sungur. a few words just to finish i want first of all of course to thank everybody who join us in this important event and last but not least, the technical team, which made it possible to have such a event, and all those who organized, including, I want to thank my comrades, because today we have another public meeting somewhere near there. The we had all, we are always in uh, this kind of activity. A few days ago, we had an, a very successful meeting against the NATO war any preparation for this conference to make it known to everybody in Greece. We have another meeting today and we'll have more in the beginning, in the next period. Again, I believe it was in every aspect a unique, in many aspects event. We saw workers' democracy also in action. We did not prevent that the opposite views from our views even it was a very minority views. So for this reason, as this conference is recorded, eh, I suggest that it should be in the YouTube, also to be public property for everybody in the movement who wants to know what we did and to and who can do it, both in the YouTube of uh, RedMed as well as the Neoprofiki, which is the digital newspaper, we have in any matter, but it has to be a collective achievement, even beyond those who participated in this event and to record it. And um, I think it was a blow to the confusion which existed. I think the very positive response, because I did not thought about 50 people from different organizations, different countries, 
if you wanting to participate in the beginning, you will be less than that. But the, even sometimes the enthusiastic response shows that the something very objective, the mood, although it is subjective in another sense, the mood, the anti-war mood of the masses is growing, particularly in the poorest countries. And they will have more and more problem, the imperial instigators of the war. So let's continue this work and this say in Arabic, Thawra Thawra Hatan Nasser, revolution until victory. Thank you, everybody. Comrades. And Desiree Daniel, Thank you.